Dean has the option of leveraging Privileged Access Management, or PAM. This is an administrative access solution that addresses security concerns, and this is done by isolating administrative accounts from production Active Directory domains. PAM requires a forest functional level of at least Windows Server 2012 R2. The way that this works is that Microsoft Identity Manager, or MIM, provisions a new Bastion Active Directory forest. This is where the administrative accounts would actually exist. Additionally, shadow groups can be created in this additional Bastion Active Directory forest. A shadow group is a group whereby we can configure time-based membership. This time-based membership, for example, might allow an administrator a few minutes or a few hours, a few days, even months, with privileges that are elevated so they can perform some kind of admin task. So let's say, for example, we need to provide an administrator with privileges to install an app or manage users and groups for a limited period of time. We could do that using PAM. Kerberos tickets will honor time-based group memberships. So that if we've got somebody logged in and they are a member of multiple groups, if one of those is a shadow group that's time limited, then Kerberos will use the smallest time to live value. We also have monitoring capabilities where we can go look at our logs so we track which administrative access is requested and granted and what was done with those privileges. Active Directory also has a change in terms of how frequently time adjustments are made for domain joined computers. This happens much more frequently and reduces rounding errors. Azure Active Directory Join for mobile devices enables centralized device management. This is applicable to BYOD as well as to work or corporate devices. With Azure Active Directory Join, devices can enjoy single sign-on to web apps. Azure Active Directory Join also allows those devices to be managed with a mobile device management or MDM tool, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the Windows Intune tool. We can also configure kiosk mode for shared devices. But when we talk about mobile devices like tablets and phones, rarely are those shared. There are also some developer enhancements where essentially there's one set of APIs, whether the developer is building an app for work or for personal use on a device. So the key here is that we have centralized device management with Azure Active Directory Join. Microsoft Passport is a single sign-on or SSO solution. It's a personal as well as a corporate authentication mechanism, so it can be used for both purposes. Microsoft is calling Passport a password-less authentication, which can be used against Active Directory, a standard Microsoft account online, even a FIDO account. FIDO stands for Fast ID Online, and essentially what it is is a universal authentication mechanism, and it supports multi-factor authentication, and its purpose is to remove the need to remember multiple passwords. Microsoft Passport also supports biometric or PIN-based authentication. And if your hardware supports it, TPM or the Trusted Platform module can be used to generate keys. Now, the keys are actually protected by biometric or PIN-based authentication. There are a few features that have been deprecated in Server 2016, such as the old file replication service, which was used to replicate folder contents between servers. That has been replaced exclusively now with DFS replication. Additionally, Windows Server 2003 functional levels are no longer an option in Server 2016. In this video, we discussed Active Directory Domain Service's new features.